Are you a Windows user? Yes, dude, yes! Are you trying to switch over to Linux? Yes, dude, yes! Then this video can help you. In this video, we will be showing you how to download, install, and explore the elementary OS 7.1 demo version on a VMware player. So stay tuned till the end. Thank you. So let us get started by doing a Google search for elementary OS download. And what we see is a link to the elementary.io, which will take us to the elementary OS website, which seems to be the thoughtful, capable, and ethical replacement for proprietary systems like Mac OS and Windows. So to start installation, we click on custom. Oh wait, let us look at the recommended system specs first and check the details out. It says recent Intel i3 or compatible dual core 64-bit processor and an SSD. There is no scope for an HDD over here. And also it clearly says that we do not recommend virtual machines as they do not perform well. So we'll go for a demo install and go to custom, enter $0.00 and click on the download elementary OS button, which should get our pop-up and observe that the download has already started and we'll come back as soon as the download is done for the installation process. So let's get started with the installation. Click on VMware player, click on the create a new virtual machine and click on browse and select the ISO you just downloaded. Click on next and use the OS as your new machine and then once created, click on play. You can see elementary OS booting. The countdown has started. We got the logo. And uh, the screen is dark out in here. And now we are seeing some more developments. A gray screen with the language settings already, uh, which you can choose. I chose English. And the USA is a country. The US English is what I'll choose, and I'll also choose the options for a, a cold Mac or a Dvorak layout, also, which is very useful. But I'll stick with the default, and now I'll select the demo version and click on try and we are all about to be launched into this beautiful wallpaper of elementary os with a welcome screen there you go and we are like going to browse the welcome screen which will tell us all this so let's get started with the welcome screen choose your look with various palettes available and uh, there's also a dark mode i guess uh, which is what is being shown here there's a night light mode which can be switched on or off click on next and i love this icon of housekeeping which can keep your uh, system tidy If you came from a Windows background, you would have Outlook offering you mail, tasks and calendar together. You can just open some of them and check it out. Here we have some scheduled tasks and calendar where you could uh, you know, record your events. And all in all, you won't, be, you won't feel left out from uh, once you switch over from Windows to elementary OS. What I find interesting is that there is no terminal in the dock. It's probably hidden because it wants to be more GUI friendly. Uh, let's find out.
Let's click on applications, check out the other productivity apps. like the code, the screenshot app, the PDF reader called document viewer, the multi-window manager, the code editor is something that which should allow you to start scripting right away or programming right away as can be seen here it's probably one of those uh, apps that will probably get you up and running uh, as soon as you install elementary OS once done let's close this and open up another app uh, let's go to the second page where the terminal is actually hidden and open it and we should be able to see that the terminal is ready to go you can uh, you can experiment by playing uh, with some Linux commands uh, to check if your terminal is actually working all in all it seems to be a great package one more thing is the shortcuts app that will give you a list of shortcuts which will make your make you even more productive So here we are looking at the media apps and let's start with the music app. This is a native app which has a queue that is empty and if you want to play a file, play a music file, you end up going to downloads where you can have an mp3 file and click on play and it would be redirected with redirected to the music app. Now once added to the queue, you can actually have a look at the app itself and uh, look at some of the other features which has a pause and a next button and a previous button pretty much a minimalistic audio player with a shuffle and uh, a loop uh, feature in it which gives you a pretty good place to start off with uh, as opposed to a full-fledged music player which you can actually download on a native installation I had already watched a video on this video native video player on elementary OS and as you can see it is again another minimalistic video player which seems to be good the response times are good even on this uh, virtual machine install and let me go to videos and restart the entire app the entire video file it shows me the video and you got some settings and the duration the progress bar uh, pretty much again a minimalistic video player you can always go back or close the video player pause and close let's keep this uh, app in the dark and go to photos now this one is interesting the photos has some really good features as you can see if this is one of them you can always play a slideshow on this and uh, rotate the photos and all the good stuff cropping editing etc which you would definitely like as this isn't a just a minimalistic uh, photo app it it's looks really cool with all those stuff and the fun part is if you have a DSLR with a .CR2 extension for raw photos you can always use this photo editor to import and then you know export it to whatever format you want like a PNG or JPG etc let's get started with accessibility related stuff for dyslexic you go to settings go to desktop and go to text and turn on the dyslexia friendly button and suddenly the change of font type and shapes actually make it more dyslexic friendly which is one of the cool features I liked about elementary OS this is worth a try 
and makes it more accessibility friendly. So let us know what you thought about this walkthrough of elementary OS in the comment section below. And hit a like and the subscribe button if you like this video. See you next time.